Hey, Deuce, as the uh, season has gone on, how much extra attention have you seen these defenses giving you um, from week one compared to now? Uh, a little bit more uh, as far as brackets go. And uh, there'll be some dudes following me across the formation if I'm in a, uh, a motion or things like that. And uh, get, you get your name called out uh, some plays whenever, like, you may line up out wide or uh, you're in the backfield, you get a pointed at, uh, you get 22-22 and things like that. So a little bit more as the season goes along and stuff like that, just starting to try and adapt to that and make sure that uh, – I do everything that I can whenever I do get an opportunity to try and make a play that I probably made earlier in the season, stuff like that. How much harder does that make things for you, knowing that you are kind of a marked man right now? A little bit, a little bit harder, of course. I mean, there's not as much space to do the things that uh, you want to do. But, I mean, whenever you get out there and they start keying you, stuff like that, it opens up things for other people in your offense. So, like, if I run the jet sweep and uh, four guys follow and, like, Will had the 70-yard run uh, – four guys came out there and he came up the middle and he was out for 70. I mean, I'll do that all day if we're popping big games and other dudes are getting uh, big games, uh, big gains as well. So I'll do that all the time. I'll be a decoy or do whatever I have to do to uh, get them out of there. What, what did you think of the way uh, Will ran the ball last week? He had put up quite a bit of yardage. He ran hard and he is long and he's fast and he can, he, he was running really hard. I mean, that's all I want out of a quarterback right there is somebody that's going to put his body on the line as well. Uh, he's not afraid to pull it and get up in there and get the, the hard five. Or, and if it's time to bust a 70, I mean, he'll go out and run. And I mean, that's just something that I was like, okay, like this dude's playing for us. And then he wasn't scared to do it either. I mean, he was taking chances. He was popping up in there and he was, he wasn't afraid to pull it. All right. Thanks, Deuce. I appreciate it. No problem. Hey, Deuce, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, Coach was telling us a lot of young players quarantined because of COVID. What can the veterans, what can the starters, what can some of you guys older and wiser do to kind of get these young guys on board? Because Coach says he can't even really, you know, have a scout team because there's so many guys right now who have to quarantine. So what can you guys do to kind of help get that message if it's falling on deaf ears with young players? I don't know, a tough love, uh, in a sense. I mean, I feel like if I'm told something by a coach, of course, I'm going to say, all right, I have to do that. But then again, when it's your best friend or a close peer that tells you, hey, like, come on, like, we're going to pull you along kicking and screaming no matter what. I mean, I feel like it's different that way. Uh, if Justin Hughes came up to me and was like, hey, man, like, get it together. Like, I'm going to be all right, let's go, you know, and just things like that. It's respect thing, I feel like. And that's something that I can work on is even though, like, I'm the same age as one of them, just saying, hey, man, like, that's that's not what we need to be doing right now. We have a we have a season to play. We have practice. We have all these things. And I uh, just need to be mentally ready and physically ready whenever it come, whenever time comes, even though, like, you're young. Now, um, a lot of players after the game basically said disappointed in the loss but really felt confident that this team proved they can play with anybody. Can you use that confidence during this time off to kind of build momentum into the end of the season? Absolutely. I feel like we played really hard and we played a really good team in Oklahoma State and we battled with them the entire four quarters. And that's just the thing we got to finish whenever it comes down to it. Uh, you look around the Big 12 and you don't see anybody winning by 28, 30 points. It's always going to be 7, 10 uh, and things like that. So, I mean, in this conference, when everybody's really good and everybody can play football, you have to grind out the four quarter games and win those games. So that's just one thing we have to work on is making sure that we finish because I believe we can play with any, any team in the Big 12 right now. We showed that on Saturday. Thank you. Good job. No problem. John? Hey, Deuce, where do you feel like the offense did make the most progress in, in what you guys did on Saturday? I feel like the offensive line played really well. Uh, let's go, of course. They were opening up poles and stuff like that. They had a lot of dudes in the box and stuff like that. And that's something that I need to work on is making sure that once I make one guy miss, maybe uh, getting my eyes up and making sure that, hey, there's probably going to be another guy up in here uh, and things like that. They overload the box a whole bunch. But I feel like the O-line made huge strides in that game. They were opening up lanes. They were getting a punch. And I feel like I'm just proud of those guys. And going into a bye week is big as well because now we're going to get an extra week to prepare for Iowa State. And I feel like they're going to come out there and play even better next, uh, next game. Coming down the home stretch of your first college season, just how, how would you say your body's holding up, you know, physically going through this for the first time? I feel pretty well, Scott, of course.
uh, get banged up here and there's soreness and stuff like that. But I mean, just utilizing everything that we have here to make sure that my body's feeling as best as possible on Saturday. I feel like I've been doing that and I feel actually really good going into this last little three game home stretch. Appreciate it, Deuce. Thanks. No problem. Adam? Deuce, do you, when you get your runs in the plays, is it all of you just take all the runs that the coaches and your teammates allow you to have, or do you ever tell the coaches that you want the ball, or you have a relationship with Howard, or you tell them that you can be productive if you give them the ball? Um, I'm never going to be a I need my touches guy, or be a somebody that's going to be like, hey, like, I want the ball here, I want the ball there. I'm just going to be somebody that's going to do anything possible to help the team win. And if that's being a decoy and running jet sweeps and having Will run for 70-yard runs up the middle, I'm going to do that every single play and things like that. Um, I'm never going to be somebody that's like, hey, I need 20 touches a game. I need 25, I need 100 yards a game. That's never going to be me. That's never has been me, and uh, it never will be. Last one here, Kellis. I remember you saying a while back that <clears throat> um, – you learned a long time ago how to avoid big hits, being a small running back. What What is the secret there? Really just – so whenever you make it, say, somebody's coming on and they're coming from the left or from the right, it's kind of rolling your body to the point where, like, okay, if I take the impact, like, you don't want to take anything on your shoulder or on your leg towards, like, your kneecap or anything like that. Just making sure that, like, you kind of maneuver your body to the point where, like, okay, I can get hit right here and I can take it all and kind of like through like vibrate through your body almost uh, to the point where you're not taking it all in one spot. And I mean, it's just kind of like a feel thing uh, as you're moving so fast and stuff like that that when it happens, I mean, your body just kind of, you kind of have to take hits, take hits, take hits, and before you know it, you're moving to the point where like, okay, I'm shielding, I'm shielding, I'm shielding, and things like that. So it's hard to explain. It just kind of happens. And has that been easy to do at the college level? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've I've done it for so long because even in high school, I mean, playing against some pretty big kids down in Texas. So, I mean, uh, just being able to maneuver your body whenever way you need to has become like a second nature thing almost.